Hey, what's up you guys? Brand Cake here and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing really well today. Um, there's something I really wanted to talk about. Um, not necessarily something that I've brought uh, on its own as a topic, something that I've kind of mentioned in passing. But I've really been thinking about it a lot lately because I have some friends um, who are either in the modeling business um, or have considered being in the modeling business, stuff like that. And I have a lot of, of friends who are very concerned about how they look or how they appear to others. Um, I'm using modeling as an example because it's the most uh, obvious. It's it's the most likely uh, sort of medium for people to be judged based upon their physical appearance. And that's not necessarily a bad thing when it comes to modeling because I don't believe that modeling agencies are trying to make you feel bad about yourself or, you know, is trying to make women feel bad or, or have a specific image, I think that modeling agencies are just looking for, like, certain characteristics that you may or may not have. And I think that, you know, a, a lot of times that might get easily misconstrued as, as judgment or uh, anything like that, or hurt feelings, things like that. My biggest problem is when it doesn't involve modeling necessarily, when it involves just society in general. Um, society has a very negative outlook on women today, and a very negative outlook on just body image in general. I mean, the same thing applies for men too. In this day and age, we're kind of expected to be perfect, almost. And it's, it's very strange, because it's like this this psychotic need to be the very best and better than everybody else that we all are supposed to have. There's this drive that society pushes on us to be the very best, the top dog, the smartest, the fastest, the wealthiest. And when it comes to body image, it's just messed up. I mean, some people, there are some things that some people can't change about their physical appearance. I have a friend who's, you know, she, she's a little bit overweight, but not, not too bad. And, um, we were thinking about going somewhere, like, this was a while ago, but we were thinking about going to the beach or something, and she refused to wear a bathing suit, and when I asked her why, she told me because, well, because she was heavy and she didn't want anybody to judge her. How sad is it that we live in a society where you have to worry about judgment from random people on the beach? Me, personally, I'd tell that person to fuck themselves, because I really don't care what they think when it comes to how I look. Now, I understand that it goes both ways. It's not just with, with women, it's also with men as well. Men are expected to look very muscular, and, you know, everybody's supposed to look like fucking Channing Tatum or something, I don't know. But me, for example, I'm not exactly a very athletic guy. Um, my arms are really small, my legs aren't that muscular, I've got kind of a gut on me, and... I do get very self-conscious sometimes when I when I walk around without a shirt or if I go to the beach and things like that. So I understand exactly um, what that's like. And even though I just said like 30 seconds ago that I would tell that person to fuck themselves, the reality isn't, is that I probably would not. Um, and it's sad. It's sad that, that that's what this is all coming to now, is that there's just this height of perfection. There's this constant stress for everybody to be perfect. So I guess where I'm trying to go with this video is is if you've ever been picked on for how you how you physically appear, what your physical appearance is, then you know what? Screw them because you're not you're not any different from them. You're not any less than they are. The only ugly people I feel on this planet are those that are ugly on the inside. Let's look at Ted Cruz for example. Now granted Ted Cruz is ugly on the outside. I mean, we're not I'm <laughs> I hate to be mean, I really do, but it's true. And you know what? That would be okay if he wasn't such a freaking asshole on the inside. If Ted Cruz was a lot more beautiful on the inside, people wouldn't pick on him for his outside appearances. But the fact is, he's just an ugly motherfucker all the way around. And that's what I personally judge him on. I judge him on his ugly character, not on what he looks like. So people who, who may call you ugly for how you look or for how you dress, or for what styles you're into, what types of music, etc, etc. Those people are ugly. They're the ugly ones, not you. Live your life the way you want to live it. Not the way that society wants you to live it. Live your life the way that makes you happy, not the way that everybody expects you to be. And above all else, basically, just be cool. I mean, have a little bit of respect for people. Don't be an asshole. And, uh, and you'll get through just fine with life. And so all those people who, you know, insult others for their, their body image or for their appearance, you guys should really fix yourselves, you know. That's, that's all there is to it. You need help. You need to fix yourself because 
fixing yourself on the inside is a lot harder than fixing yourself on the outside. Granted, like I was saying earlier, you can't fix some physical appearances. Sometimes you just have a big nose or sometimes you just have wide set eyes or whatever it is. You can't fix stuff like that. But you can at least fix the stuff that's on the inside. Yeah, it's hard to do, but you can do it. And I think that people who are so ugly on the inside that they have to make fun of others purely to make themselves feel better have a lot of fucking work to do. But basically, that's it for this rant, you guys. I just want everybody who watches this to know that you guys are all, to me, you're all very beautiful people because you've helped me and helped each other through so much, and I've seen you guys do a lot of good things uh, just in this channel alone. Even if they're just little things, I know that you guys really do care, and that's that's very important. And, you know, I'm glad that you guys are the way you are, and I'm glad that you don't pick on each other. And, I'm, and if, if you are somebody who gets picked on, I'm terribly sorry, and I just want you to know that it's not you and it's not your fault. It's the person that's picking on you. They're the ugly bastards, and they should be ashamed of themselves. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks so much for listening to this big, long rant. Uh, more videos are certainly on the way, and as always, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!